Hello guys, what's up? This is Dinka Chaudhary back with another video and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can create vector art on your Android device. So for this trick you have to go to Play Store and search for an app called Adobe Illustrator Draw. So make sure you install this app. This app has more than 1 million downloads and a Google Play rating of 1.4.3. It is a very nice app and it is one of the best app to create vector art on Android devices. It is very easy to use and comes in very handy. So after you have installed the app, click on open. When you open the app, it will ask you to sign in with an Adobe account. If you don't have an Adobe account, create a new account and log in with your new account. After that, click on the plus sign and choose any white background do you want. I will choose the square for now. Let's click on square. Now let's uh, have a walkthrough of all the tools that I've, that we have in this app. First of all on the top we have that square uh, which is to hide the, all the options. Then we have the settings option by clicking on which we can rotate our canvas. After that we have the upload option by clicking on which we can just save our file or we can upload to the uh, cloud uh, you know to the creative cloud. After that we have the shapes option uh, by clicking on which we can get various shapes. After that we have the undo option also. After that on the left side we have a panel of brushes. Uh, when we click on the first brush we get these three options of size, opacity and uh, you know the color. Uh, when we press and hold the size button and then you know we move it upwards or downwards you can move it downwards to decrease the size of the pencil and you can move it upwards to increase the size then you can click on the color button to pick the color you want. After that uh, let's go on to other brushes. The other brushes are useful uh, if you want to you know just get a tint of anything if you want to uh, draw something unusual like that. Uh, then we have the last brush is for coloring purposes. So let's make a closed figure first then we have to click on the last brush and uh, just click on the last brush after you have a closed figure it will only fill a closed figure. Uh, uh, after that you have to just you know press and hold in the closed figure to uh, fill the figure so if you just press and hold uh, the closed figure the figure will be filled after that the last option here is the eraser uh, you can uh, do the same thing with the eraser you can just press and hold the size and you can you know move up or down to increase or decrease the size of the eraser after that we have the plus button uh, by clicking on which we can add an image uh, to start our vector art. So let's start our vector art. Click on, click on plus and click on your gallery and choose a photograph. For this tutorial I have downloaded an image. So let's first crop the image according to our need. Then click on the OK button on the top right corner. So as you can see I am done with this. Now let's click on the pencil button which is the first button and draw the outline of the face. First of all we will do the hair. The standard size for drawing hair and you know other body parts is 1.5 so I will you know uh, 1.5 or 2.5 so uh, you should just decrease or increase the size of the pencil to 1.25 1.5 or 2.5 to you know to uh, draw a good figure and uh, you know that size will work out for sure. Let's do the hair. as you can see uh, I'm done with the outline of hair now I will do the outline of ears so make sure that you make a closed figure that means you close the line from everywhere uh, then only you will be able to fill the colors in it let's do the other ear now So guys as you can see I am finished with both the ears now. Now I will do the eyes, uh, eyebrows and then the eyes and then the nose and the lips so two.
So guys now as you can see the eyebrows are done now I'm doing the nose so be extra cautious at the time of nose uh, the nose is one of the most difficult part to trace so make sure to use the same trick that I'm using first of all uh, make the a little bit of outline from the outside and then do the inner part Let's do the eyes. So guys I'm done with nose and eyes now that it's time for making the lips let's trace the lips let's decrease the size to 1.5 because you know the boundary is a little bit smaller here so 2.5 won't work Time for outside boundary that means uh, the neck and the t-shirt too. guys it's now the time to color first of all choose your coloring brush after that you know you just click on the coloring brush and press and hold on color option and then you have to take the color picker uh, to the place where you want to color it so it will trace the color then you have to press and hold the closed figure to fill the color now let's trace the color of ears once you have to just press and hold on the color then it will uh, give you a color picker you have to take your color picker to the you know uh, to the place where you want to trace the color after that press and hold on the closed figure to fill the color so now let's do it with the second ear so guys let's do it with the t-shirt now trace the color of the t-shirt first after that press and hold again and the t-shirt will be filled now guys it's time for the face Let's trace the color of the face and press and hold again. 
to fill the face. So as you can see, the face has been filled. I think we should do uh, the same color with, uh, with our ears too. Now first do the lips. So we have finished the lips now. Now let's do the same color with the ears too. I think that will go good. Time for the eyes. So as you can see, I did not draw the outline of the eyeball. That's why it filled, uh, you know, full eye. So let's draw the eye, uh, you know, the eyeballs. So guys, as you can see, I'm finishing the eyes now. Now since uh, I have colored the eyeballs, now it's time for the you know back of the eye, the white part. So I have done it in both the eyes now. Now the neck. So the neck and the face are you know are looking differently so I will do the same color of the face as it is uh, so it looks uh, good. Now I will do the same thing with the ear too. Uh, I will color it with the face color. So guys as you can see our vector is ready. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like the video. Click the like and subscribe button if you found this video helpful and share for more videos like this.